Hello everybody and welcome back to Art with M. Today I'm going to be doing some ink tint sketching in my tiny watercolor sketchbook that I made. In my last video I showed that I made one larger one and two tiny ones. This is one of the tiny ones. That first page was a self-portrait. I tried to be as um, accurate to all of my little freckles or birthmarks or moles or whatever you'd call them. Try to make a stylized version of me that kind of looks like me. So here I'm, I swatched all of my ink tents, colored pencils, um, which are water soluble ink pencils. They're kind of like watercolor pencils except they're permanent once they're dried so you can layer them without lifting, which is pretty cool. And then I started doing some sketching. Uh, first I did this sketch of a girl bringing in her groceries or her shopping or whatever and then I just kind of felt grumpy and sad that day so I drew a very sad person and the art style is not my normal art style it kind of almost looks like an imitation of Casey Golden's art style but eh, I don't know especially that hand I don't know but drew this this sad buddy friend that kind of looks like me and then I moved on and decided okay I'm gonna redraw this uh this girl with her shopping again and color her with the pencils and basically make her into a full drawing even though I wasn't completely happy with the sketch and like her neck is a little broken and her hands kind of read weird like I don't know why she's carrying one of the bags overhand and one underhand uh, but I don't know I, I just layered and layered and layered on this. I, I waited between each wash to let it dry and then kept layering and you'll see like I keep adding and adding and adding. Eventually I got out of that grumpy mood I was in where I just didn't feel like doing anything. <laughs> But I ended up really liking how this came out, except for, you know, the anatomy issues. But it was really fun and therapeutic process. Yeah, so I really enjoyed the process, even though the result isn't super great anatomy-wise and probably color-wise as well. But I just, I really enjoyed making it. And it got me out of that bad mood and I did a few more drawings in here. I actually am really happy with the sketchbooks that I made. Uh, weirdly, I, I thought that the fact that I made them by hand would make me more precious about them and harder to use because I made it. I don't want to ruin it with bad art, but I actually felt kind of liberated to do whatever in these. So there's 40 pages, um, and by page I mean just one side of a sheet. Um, so there's 20 sheets, like 20 leaves of paper, and then 40 pages to draw on. And I've already done 13 of the 40 pages in a week. So I, if I keep up that pace, I will finish this sketchbook in less than a month, which is the quickest I've ever done it. It's not like super impressive, like in the grand scheme, but it's uh, a... A goal I haven't reached before so after I finished that the grocery girl I decided I'm gonna just go in without really much of a sketch without a plan and just play with these certain colors that I picked I picked just if I think four it ended up being five that I liked the colors of mostly cool colors but then the one orange and uh, I just built up layers and layers of that to refine it and again, the anatomy is not great on the face. Her proportions are really weird. Her hair is huge on the top and back of her head. But the colors and the mark making was really pleasing for me to do. And so I consider this a success in process, if not in result, if that makes any sense. So after this one, even though I really liked the colors and the messy mark making and stuff like that, I decided I should probably draw something from reference. So I recently downloaded the Sketchy app and I hadn't used it yet. I had downloaded it like the day before and decided, okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to try one of these and see how it comes out. And so 
I just found a picture and started sketching in yellow. And for this one, I picked a more warm color palette um, with the exception of one blue. So instead of having three cool tones and one warm tone, I had three warm tones and one cool tone. Um, and it looks, it looks black or gray right now, but once I add the water, you'll see how much more vibrant it can get. I really enjoy these pencils because, like, they're really pretty when you lay them down. Like, they're, they're fairly pigmented colored pencils on their own, but when you add the water, they really just, like, bloom into color and it's just amazing. Like, that iron blue, it looked gray as just the pigment, but once you add the water, it just lights up. And I really like these and I, I've had them for a while and I just don't use them nearly as much as I would like to. M partly because the previous sketchbook I've been using, it's a really cute sketchbook but it really does not handle wet media very well. Like you can maybe get one layer of wet and then it'll start pilling up if you, you know, use the brush on it more than that. It'll, it'll damage the surface of the paper. So I, that's part of why I made these little mini watercolor sketchbook is, is I wanted a place to use my wet media, like my watercolors and my ink tints. And I think it was a really great idea because I still use that other one. But this one is a place where I can go in with whatever experimental wet media I want. I've done swatches, I had done some sketches, I had done a piece from that sketch. I had done a drawing straight from imagination without really doing a sketch. I had done a drawing from a reference photo. And then I decided I should do some drawings from direct observation. So I'm drawing my own left hand in a few poses. I picked specifically these two colors that I wouldn't have thought would mix so beautifully. It's the, I believe it's the fuchsia and the teal green. I would have thought that the teal, the greenness of the teal would not have mixed well with the redness of the fuchsia, but I find that they blend into a lovely violet purple that is somehow both bright and muted at the same time. Like there's a little bit of canceling out of, you know, the complementary colors in them, but since they're both so vibrant of colors on their own, they mix into this, look at this beautiful color. It's, it's just, oh, I love it. I, I, I love it. And you could see on the swatch pages, I was double checking that those were the two colors that mixed into the purple that I like. Because the fuchsia is, it's a lot more magenta than it is violet. So I don't really have a violet purple. So yeah, I did a bunch of different paintings all in one night just to experiment with styles and observation and practicing with these ink tense pencils and I just really enjoyed this process. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!